Voter fraud accusations lead to indictments for two Canton City aldermen and a public school board member. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris has been following this story since the beginning and joins us now live in the studio with the latest. Margaret Ann, there are 15 indictments with 25 counts related to voter fraud and were handed down just today. And this is the beginning as more indictments are expected in a few weeks. The city's first African-American female police chief turned older woman Vicki McNeil, along with Canton School Board member Courtney Rainey, have been indicted along with four others on voter fraud. The consequence of the election terminates in this day uh, where people uh, where people are now in jail. Madison County Assistant District Attorney Brian Buckley brought the allegations in front of a grand jury in a year-long investigation. Buckley was not able to speak because of the pending nature of the case. However, he confirms all of the charges deal with absentee ballots. This is as surprising to me as it is to you, uh, as it is to any of our citizens. The case centers on last year's municipal elections where Mayor William Truly was elected. Alderwoman McNeil was on the ballot along with Alderman Andrew Grant. He is expected to be indicted at a later date. I distinctly recall that after the election, the poll books uh, and uh, many of the uh, uh, voting books were secured uh, uh, by the district attorney's office and I think the investigation uh, started then. Canton School Board member Courtney faces 15 counts of voter fraud against her, including witness intimidation. The charges include voting absentee for other people, intimidating witnesses, conspiracy to commit voter fraud by paying people to interfere with ballots, voting by an unqualified person, either a felon or not living in Canton. Jennifer Robinson, Desmond King, Sherman Matlock, and Donnell Robinson also face charges of voter fraud. Now, this is an ongoing investigation. Stay with WJTV as we bring you the very latest reporting in the studio. Gerald Harris, WJTV 